When's the last time you took a good break? Did you deserve it? Now, if you don't take well-deserved breaks, that means you need to take more action. Welcome to my channel. My name is Alain Faber, and the goal with this channel is to make you realize that when you're learning new concepts, new ideas, and you are working on your growth mindsets, getting new skills gives you a chance to think outside the box and make the world a better place. Stay with us and let's see what uh, this video will bring as new ideas for you today. It's about 5.30, with dinner is getting ready. I'm taking a break. Guess what? I've been up and gone to the go since uh, probably eight o'clock this morning. So I figured that uh, now is a good time to do a well-deserved break. And I was thinking about the fact that there are a lot of people that work very hard in our society. For example, if you take a farmers and people taking care of our natural resources, so miners uh, taking care uh, of the, in the oil field, these are people that will work 10, 12 hour shifts and there's no, re there's no room for them to take breaks sometimes because the safety of the coworkers around them is at risk or could be at risk. Or if you're a farmer, if you take care of animals, uh, you need to take care of them. If you take care of uh, uh, crops, you need to uh, tend to them to make sure that uh, uh, they stay healthy and that uh, they can produce as much as we can. Because uh, you know that our society is great at uh, consuming and sometimes being a bit wasteful. So these people do have to work extra hard for that. So if you think of farmers, miners, people working in the oil fields, they do well-deserved breaks uh, during the day or if they are, uh, for example, um, on a weekend. I remember when I was painting in, uh, in an oil refinery, I remember we had the half an hour for lunch and two 15 minute breaks. And we needed those because we were tired and we were getting there and we felt that they were well-deserved breaks because we had worked hard, we had pushed uh, what we had to do. We were not exhausted. We we're just tired and feeling happy to have a break. Now, some, sometimes if you work in an environment that is not as hard physically, people may feel, well, we need breaks more often. I need to go on Facebook. I need to do my Instagram um, message right now. So the question is, sometimes when we take breaks, do we take well-deserved breaks? You have to think about that. Uh, sometimes people say, well, if you think of farmers, it's a vocation. If they put their heart and soul. There are some, uh, um, some people in, the relations, uh, in the rela uh, religion groups, like priests and nuns, or other st uh, religiously structured groups, they are giving their heart and soul to their, their cause. And they do have a um, well-deserved break because they don't have much time to rest sometime because they are very selfless to help others. You have to be mindful of that. Now, as a teacher, I realize that, uh, uh, do I need a, a break sometimes? Well, I do need breaks because in many ways, being in front of a group and trying to be energized and help people to be motivated and get them to, um, to discover. You need to be alert and you need to be there for them and to be attentive to what they need. And that's taking a lot of energy. For example, our frontline workers right now, if they work in a hospital, nurses, doctors, they do work very hard. When they have a break, it's a well-deserved break. And that's why I say that the breaks are amazing because you have 15 minutes to rest, sometimes to have a sip of coffee, right, right now. But you can reflect on the work well done so that when you go back, you feel satisfied. I was thinking uh, today is a Saturday, but on Tuesday I was seeing um, people taking care, uh, picking up the garbage and the, the composting along the road. And it was a hot day, and I was thinking of these guys doing this uh, uh, in a hot day. But not just one day, it's, it's every week, so 52 weeks out of the year, you've got people doing the same thing over and over again. And that's why breaks will be well-deserved for them. Now, why do I want, I'm not picking on you about breaks and well-deserved breaks. I'm just saying that because if you feel that sometimes you don't deserve the break, it's because you need to take more action. 
Think about it. If you took more action and going towards the goals you have, uh, acting towards uh, your vision to make sure that uh, you, you make the world a better place, guess what? You will feel fulfilled. You would feel that you're contributing to the world. And when you take a break, you will feel that you are uh, at peace with yourself, that you feel that you deserve it because you are just taking a moment to regroup, relax so that you can do even more. And that's something to keep in mind. Some people will say, well, as an entrepreneur, people are going and going and they don't stop very much. That is true because they have a vision. They have a vision for their company. They have a vision for where they want to go. They have a vision for how they want to contribute to the world. And what happens is it becomes not, uh, it's almost like a vocation because they are not necessarily thinking about what they want about themselves, but what they can do to help others and to serve others. And that's why when they take breaks, they well-deserved breaks because they're taking action. And in, on my channel, you've seen that I do try often to share with you that taking action is very important if you want to make the world a better place. Let's see if I had a few examples for you. Um, I had, I had, I have a, a friend who is a welder, and he, you can weld in a shop, or you can weld in, for for example, uh, in the tar sand uh, projects in northern uh, Alberta, where he was welding for hours and hours and hours at a time because the pipes have, they were going, there was no end, and that was a lot of work. But you know what? He was doing it and he was proud of the work he was doing. When he was taking breaks, he was very happy. That's why when he was going to Alberta for the projects, he would go for four or five months and working for 12 hour shifts. Why? Because he knew that he was contributing, focusing on the work to make sure that when he came back home, he could have a well-deserved break. So that means that for you, what are, what are you doing? Do you have well, do you take well-deserved breaks? Take a moment, I'd like to go here below, what you do during the day and how you feel when you take breaks. That is quite important for you because you need to figure out that when you take breaks, you deserve them and not that you're entitled for them. Because if you don't feel you deserve them, that means you need, you can take a bit more action to make the world a better place. So I have three tips for you to make the world a better place and feel that you have, you have a, that you, uh, that you focus on the right thing for, for society. So let's see. So my first tip is for you, when you take a break, to ask yourself this question. Do you feel at peace with taking the break? If you feel at peace, that means that you've worked hard, you deserve the break, because you, you, may be, you may have focused a long time, but you are at peace because your contribution towards your vision is tangible. And that's amazing because you feel at peace. That means that uh, you don't feel regret. You don't feel uncomfortable. You feel that you are at the right place at the right time. And that's an amazing feeling. The other tip is when you take a break, I want you to feel about uh, I want you to know, do you feel tired or do you feel exhausted? If you take a break, you need to reflect because if you're tired for, uh, and you take a break, it's a good. That means that you focused, you did a lot of work, you contributed and you worked hard. On the other hand, if you feel exhausted, there's something you have to focus on. Because if you feel un uh, exhausted, that means that either you're pushing it too much, maybe the work is not at the optimal uh, way for you to, to do it. Because if you feel exhausted every time you take a break, that could be bad for you. Uh, if you feel exhausted, it could be because it's too tiring, there's not enough sleep, too much stress, you need more resources to make sure that you can get what you need to do, um, uh, to, like either the environment, because, or maybe you have to look into your mental health as well. There's no reason why you should feel exhausted every day when you take a break. Well, sometimes you don't sleep, you sleep two hours the night before and you feel exhausted at the end of the day. Well, that happens. But if you feel continuously exhausted, that's not good because you want to feel tired to have, to feel a well-deserved break and nothing more. 
And that brings me to my third tip. And my third tip is about uh, using the agenda. The reason why I want you to use the agenda is when you plan breaks, it will be an opportunity for you to reflect on what you've done and celebrate the small wins. That's the purpose of breaks. It's not just to rest and it's to, it's to feel that, okay, I've done a few things. I've worked on my project towards my vision or I worked on what I had to do for my work. Now I'm taking a break. Do, do I have small win? If you have small win, imagine that. You feel energized and you can go on to the next part of your day. That is why an agenda is quite amazing. The agenda will allow you to put blocks for you to to focus on for work, for your projects, and you will be able to plan for breaks. Think about it. If you plan for breaks, you'll be able to know what needs to be done for you to feel comfortable so that when you take those breaks, you feel um, not nurtured, but you feel that you, uh, you feel at peace. And that's the purpose of doing that. You work hard, you take action, you take well-deserved breaks. Uh, sometimes people will say, oh, it feels good. I've, I've just worked two hours. Let's see if I can do another one, then another one, then another one. Then at the end of the day, you feel exhausted. Using the agenda, planning for breaks, planning for uh, celebrating small successes will make so that at the end of the day, think about it. If you worked six or eight hours, 10 hours, you took five breaks of five minutes to 15 minutes, you had lunch and that you feel tired, but not exhausted, and you had a chance to celebrate small wins all day, you'll feel happy. You feel that even though it was a long day, it could have been a hard day, that you're ready to contribute more the day after. And that's what makes it amazing for you uh, to make a fulfilling life. So I have a call to action today, and the call to action today is the following. I want you to take your agenda, and look at that one thing that you haven't done yet this week. It's Saturday, so there's five days already that we started. It may take an hour or two. I want you to get that done. I'm not talking about a project that will take five weeks. I want you to think about that one thing that will take an hour or two that you haven't done yet, that you've been procrastinating, and I want you to get it done by the end of tomorrow. And I want you to take time to take a break, a well-deserved break, after you're done and reflect about how tired you may be, but how rewarding you feel and how a small win it is for you, how energizing it is because taking action is what you need to do. Because the more you take action, the more you can make the world a better place when it's done positively. On this note, I'm going to put here a link to my best life journey on this journey of learning, on this journey to make the world a better place by contributing towards what matters for us. On this, have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video.